Now, transgender influencer, whatever the hell that is, Dylan Mulvaney, has been named as, oh, wait for it, Woman of the Year at uh, Attitude magazine's annual awards. They're an LGBTQ plus uh, magazine. Despite the fact that Dylan Mulvaney is a man. Now, accepting the award, Mulvaney said how grateful he was that, that hateful people had made things a struggle. Here's what I've realized. You ready? Okay. So, no matter how hard I try, or what I wear, or what I say, or what surgeries I get, I will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards. Well, Dylan Mulvaney has already received a backlash for the award with the Independent Women's Forum's Paula Scanlon joking, I'd like to nominate myself for Man of the Year. And you see, that's a joke, and yet it's not a joke the other way around, is it? Well, joining me right now is Chief Executive of the LGB Alliance. That's Kate Barker. Uh, good afternoon to you, Kate. Good afternoon. Thank you for having um, me. I do find it extraordinary that um, you and I, both those huh, old-fashioned things called women, uh, don't have a chance of ever winning Attitude Magazine's uh, Woman of the Year Award, but a, a man has. Dylan Mulvaney uh, is saying, I mean, I think this is an extraordinary quote that we just heard. No matter how hard I try or what I wear, as if what you wear matters, or what surgeries I have, I will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards. I think he means you and me. We're the hateful people. What is the acceptable version of womanhood? Yes, um, I think he does. It does mean mean you and me. Um, Dylan Mulvaney, I think he's probably a perfectly pleasant chap, but he's a man, and the fact that he's essentially been picked as the best woman does feel like a very pointed rebuke. And I think it is all about presentation, and it is about men's perception of what a woman is, rather than the reality of what it is. And I, I do think this award as well shows that. The LGBTQ lobby really, really doesn't like women and it especially yeah. doesn't like lesbians. I mean, they could have, it's supposed to be a gay magazine, or it used to be a gay magazine, now it's LGBTQ. Would it have killed them to have picked a lesbian? Well, this, this is the thing. Now, your organisation, you've taken some extraordinary uh, criticism and I'd say abuse and lies that are thrown your way for setting up as an organisation which is like transphobic, as opposed to your view is that a lot of the organisations that used to represent the needs and the, 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 the rights uh, of, of gay, lesbian and bisexual people are now completely and utterly in hock to the trans activist lobby. And when, when that clashes with the needs of gay people, particularly gay women, um, that, that actually that gay women's rights on, are being ignored and, and frankly, run, you know, ridden roughshod over. But this is the thing I find extraordinary. It's the idea that what you wear, we've had this from Eddie Izzard, you know, the would-be on many attempts at Labour MP, where, you know, if I'm wearing heels and lipstick, then I'm a girl. Um, and if I'm wearing flats, then I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a boy. Well, I, I'm wearing flats today. Does that mean I'm a man? I mean, it's, being a woman well, isn't too. what you wear. It's not a wig. It's not whether you've got big breasts or not, or whether you're wearing yeah. bright colours and a silly dress, or whether you're dressed up as Dylan Mulvaney likes to do, as, a, as either a sort of a, you know, a Holly Go Lightly um, gay icon of a woman. Of a woman. It, it's... It's your biological reality. This, this is almost a parody of what a woman is. Well, in it, absolutely, and it's completely gaslighting women and gaslighting lesbians. I mean, we know, we know that gaslighting is kind of a form of manipulation where the abuser tries to, um, put, tries to convince you that your, your sense of reality is off. And it yeah. really does feel like this is exactly what's happening here. And it is part of a much bigger picture as well. So, I mean, Attitude magazine, you know, it, it's it's not a particularly significant publication. But when you look at the... This isn't drip, Time magazine of the year or a man of, woman yeah, of the year. Exactly. Yeah. But, but when you look at the sort of drip, drip effect of where it's happening everywhere, that's where you, you start to be able to kind of join the dots. I mean, last week, the UN um, on International Lesbian Day tweeted, remember, trans lesbians are lesbians too. Oh, for the love of God. Well, no, they're not. They're, 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 they're blokes. And when you look at organisations like the UN and their absolutely woeful reputation with regards to sexual violence against women, sometimes perpetrated by their own operatives, you can see what underpins this is really a much more serious misogyny and yeah. a kind of pervasive disdain for women. It's yeah. also a real power grab for somebody like, like Dylan. And I don't hold it against him personally. I think 
he, he, look, he's just a wannabe. He, this he's is a young so man who it. wants to be famous and rich, and he's tried it in various different ways, and now he's worked out that dressing up in a parody of a woman um, and prancing around in a parody of, of, of young girls, I mean, as if most women walk around like that, like he does on his <laughs> videos, I and mean, it's frankly, bloody insulting uh, to adult women. He, he yeah. wants to be famous, and he's found a way. So well done him, congratulate him, well done, you've made a load of money. But meanwhile, this is an insult, I'm not going to even use the term real women, it's an insult to women. No, absolutely, uh, it, it is a complete insult, and it, it, the whole picture of it is something that it, in, it gives young girls the impression that what it takes to be a woman... Well, firstly, they'll never get to be attitude woman of the year mm -hmm. because they're not blokes. But secondly, that being a woman is so utterly performative. And as you say, it's literally about... If you wear high heels and lipsticks, then lipstick, then that, that yeah. equals womanhood. So it's so reductive in terms of what a woman is and what a woman can do. Um, and it, I don't believe for a second that... Attitude magazine or Virgin Atlantic, who sponsored this, or the UN, believe for one second no. that Dylan Mulvaney is a woman. But what they do believe, really deep in their core, and what society believes, is that men's feelings matter more than women. Men are kind of more real than women somehow. So Dylan Mulvaney and any man, and it doesn't matter whether he's doesn't bother to dress up like a woman or, or not. Any man decides that he is a woman or he feels like a woman, then that's more that important. Is a reality. And I doubt we'll ever see a man of the year who is a, a trans man, i.e. a woman. But frankly, men won't put up with it. But do you think... I mean, there was some reference by um, uh, one of the co-hosts, Alan Carr, a comedian for whom I've got a lot of time. Um, he co-hosted alongside Amanda Holden. I mean, she needs to take a look in the mirror herself over this. He said the UK has taken a step back in LGBTQ+. I still don't know what the Q and the plus are, by the way, LGBT plus support. Um, there's a lot of punching down going on right now, so I think we all need to come together and be a force to be reckoned with. Um, and there was a reference also about... Um, from Dylan Mulvaney about the hate spewed last week. As dangerous as it is for trans people here, like the hate spewed last week, maybe it's less about where we are and more about who we're with. Um, talking about safe spaces. The hate I think they were referring to was the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's speech in which he said that men are men and women are women and we shouldn't be bullied into pretending anything different. That's yeah, not hate. Which was, which was perfectly sensible. And the notion of punching down, so it's this um, sense of um, aggrieved victimhood. Well, I think the people at the bottom of the heap tend to be lesbians and not men who have somehow managed to, to put themselves in, in this hierarchy of oppression right at the top of the pyramid. So yeah. it's quite a clever trick to be able to make a complete power yeah. play, which is to say, I am a woman, yeah. but at the same time, to be able to claim the, the status Indeed. of being... And I'm sure, as you'll agree with me, I couldn't care less what he wears. He can wear whatever he wants, he can dance how he wants, he can wear as many wigs, he can do whatever he wants, live your best life, that's fine. But don't tell me that I'm hateful when I say that you are not a woman because you are not a woman. Uh, Kate Barker, you are fantastic. You've been a fantastic champion for women. Chief Executive of the uh, LGB Alliance, thank you so much for joining us.